Strange whoopie do go for yours because strange come true. So proud of you too. And that the ruler Rick through and it's true. We like the party. Huh, come on. Hey young world, the world is yours. Well let me quit that you guys. Let me hit y'all with the intro and I got something to talk about. Intro! It's Slappy's Adventures. Slappy Adventures. Is it? Oh, it's Slappy's Adventures. On three, Slappy Adventures. One, two, three. Slappy Adventures. In three quarters of a mile, take the exit on the right to Tennessee 170 East. Then take the ramp ahead. All right, you guys, that is my GPS, my Garmin 360 Zoom mode. Man, I don't know what took me so long to get me a daggone GPS. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Now I use my phone, and my phone done well, very good. But when you're doing these vlogs, and you're trying to get this and that, and you're GPS and, and putting your phone through a, through a whole lot of stuff, Take the exit on the right to Tennessee 170 East. Then take the ramp ahead. That gum thing ain't gonna let me vlog this damn GPS. -y. Take the ramp ahead. Now, that gum man, you gonna quit yelling at me after I'm bragging on how good you are. Anyway, I'm joking, you guys. But yeah, the Garmin 396. Hey, if, if I'd have thought about it, I'd have got the bigger version. But this one does just fine, man. I mean, that's the way it ain't all in the damn way. But I got the, uh, this is my 2012 Gold Wing. And it's the first time that I've rode this bike since I've been uh, to Alaska. Did three weeks on the road, 8,050 miles. And let me tell y'all something. These daggone gold wings are a travel animal. They are a beast. I can't brag on this bike enough. I've got 94,000 miles on it. I put every mile on this thing, and it takes it, man. It's a beast, I'm telling you. I am not knocking Harleys by no damn mean. This is not a Harley knocking vlog. But if y'all want me to buy one of them bad boys and it can't do the things that this has done, I don't know. This bike has proven it time and time and time again over and over. It's got the original clutch, original alternator, knock on wood. Now, uh, like my man Rich with Boots and Jeans Riders, y'all check him out. Like he said, we give them a hard time, them being Harleys. They give us a hard time. I got a lot of respect for Harley Davidson. I, I really want one that's kind of hard for me to justify it just uh, for the simple fact that I want to tap into the culture and maybe it will help my channel to grow. By the way, please like it. If you ain't subscribed to it, I would appreciate it. I need my channel to grow, y'all. Uh, but anyway, man, this bike is a travel beast. Some of the things that are similar to, uh, I'm talking about a Goldwing versus a Harley Davidson, whichever model you want. We do the same thing that y'all do on y'all bikes. We put, I got an aftermarket windshield, which is a V-Stream. I just ordered me another one, as a matter of fact. V-Stream windshield. I've got a Diamond Custom Harco seat. That's the first thing you do to a Harley. Get a seat, change the windshield. I even got Healy bars on mine. I ain't got no ape hangers or nothing like that, but they are bigger, better for a taller person, a bigger person. I've got Healy bars, so I changed the handlebars. Uh, I've changed the exhaust. That's not really typical of gold wing thing. You don't see too many people changing exhaust, but I did. I'm a, I come from a sport bike world, and I like to hear a little rumble, rumble, a little woo woo. It don't sound nothing like a Harley. It sounds like a little souped up Honda or a little Porsche. 
I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. I like the way it sounds, but it gives me a nice tone. That, you know, when I'm when I'm changing gears, I, I like it. Um, talked about the exhaust. I got a K and M filter in it. I even got the torque loops on this one. Now, everything that I've said that I've done to this bike, I mimic it on my F6B versus the seat. Uh, the seat that came on that bike was a Corbin. I'm not real happy with it. I'm, I'm really not. I want to go with a hard car. I talked to this today, as a matter of fact, and uh, I didn't order it yet because it was a little more than what I thought. I'm like, yeesh. Does my butt hurt that bad? Uh, I want one, but I, I, I got this big trip coming up, so I don't know if I want to uh, spend that kind of money on a seat just yet. But uh, this this Go Wing is a beast, man. I've just changed the oil since I uh, got back, and I changed it before I left, and I put 8,050 miles on that Honda Proline synthetic oil. They said it's good for 10,000. I've never pushed it that far. I have pushed it to eight, and I pushed it again on this one. It did just fine, but I was glad and proud to get that oil out of the bike. So, got fresh oil in it. Uh, it still got some gas from when I got some gas on the other side of Nashville. I'm gonna go up here at Waggles, get me some of this 100% gas, and put in this bad boy. But, man, let me tell you something, as far as if you looking for a quality traveling motorcycle, all bikes have its issues. I don't give a damn what it is. But this Honda Goldwing, I can stand on it, man. It, thank goodness it ain't never put me down. It has taken it. It is a beast. We pound on this bike. We beat up on this bike. We get on these crazy ass roads up and uh in uh, uh shit i can't even talk in uh mexico me and two guns was in mexico on those boogity 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 roads definitely was on some crazy ass roads up in uh, uh canada going to alaska but i did just like the harley guys do i did upgrade my suspension to traction i did the same thing to the f6b but i went with progressive where I made my mistake with that was I should have stuck with Traxion. But they had a supply issue with the springs on the front. So I went ahead and got them uh, the, the progressive in the front. I'm not I'm not mad about the progressive in the front, but the back. I put the, the heavier progressive spring. I should have got Traxion with the spring and the um, uh, uh, upgraded shock. And they tailor make that doggone spring, that, that, that suspension to fit you. I'm 350 pounds, 6'4", pull a trailer, sometimes two up. So they tailor made that suspension, shot out to Dan, Max McAllister. We got that installed. It was a bear, me and uh, Bizai, Bizai helped me with it. Or, or I helped Bizai with it, <laughs> but got it in. Now it is riding proper. I'm going to go meet up with b on the tail of the dragon tomorrow, I think. And then, uh, 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 that'll be the, that'll be the super test is on that tail of the dragon. I can already tell it's a lot better. I'm definitely not bottoming out. I'm kind of floating over bumps. But, I wanted to ride the, uh, full go wing, put some good gas in it. I changed the oil this weekend, so this is where I'm at. I'm going to dip in here and get Turn some. Turn left at the traffic light. Yeah, but I got to get some gas first. I think I need to give this daggum uh, Garmin. I need to name it. I need to give it a name. A nice sexy name. Y'all help me name my Garmin. Because she be talking to me so good. She be telling me so good information. She won't lead me wrong. She won't lead me astray. Turn left. Then take the first right. But she be yelling at me, man. Damn, I'm a little sensitive. I can't handle nobody yelling at me, baby. Turn right. <laughs> Then take the second left. See? You see what I mean? Stop yelling at me, deck on it. But I'm going to give her a name, you guys. Y'all help me name my Garmin 396. And that's what the gas price is. I'm going to get from this 100%. 389 a gallon. And I'll catch up with you guys on the other end.
Bye.